What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Sword and we made it to the top of the Rose Tower and now we're about to confront Miss Olina right here. So welcome to Chairman Rose exclusive space, here nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you've got through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose while her face you shall be the first, Blades. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Why is she gotta go so psycho on us, though? Frost, do you use ghost types or ice types? That's what I have to decide now. about camping. Yeah, let's, uh, you do that while I try to up my guy's speed just in case you are an ice user. But Frostlass in general is already fast as heck. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my partner. Cheeky? Oh, this is about to be a pain in the butt battle. She's really about to make it so hard for me to hit, to hit. Hex? Okay. I'm glad he's pretty defensive. Yeah, this next Pokemon will kind of determine what type of trainer she is. My load... Okay, she just has multiple Pokemon in general. I can't remember if my Lodic had a bad physical defense or not, but I don't know, maybe Toxic then Overdrive will be will do the trick maybe. I'm not surprised she has a My Lodic though. I don't think her Milotic would know a move that'll be good against poison types. Oh, I could have just used Overdrive right off the bat. That's fire poison. Honestly, guys, I think as much as I like um, Colossal, I think I'm going to switch him out too because uh, I don't know if you guys remember episodes ago, I came across that Dragon Ghost Pokemon in a trainer battle and. Turns out that's actually the the pseudo legendary for the region or for the generation. So, like I said, I normally always have a dragon type on my team, and I think I might just go with that dragon Pokemon. It's like a one percent chance to find it. So, I think later on, whenever I'm able to go back to the wild area, I'm gonna go look for that Pokemon too. Probably breed it up and start doing some surprise trades with that too. I feel like that's that grass type. I don't know, I think... I think 7th generation I didn't really pay too much attention to, but I think it's that grass type Pokemon. Okay, yeah. that crit. Huh? 
honestly, I think my only option is to send out Rillaboom. Just because I have that ground type move, and I think Garbodor is that poison. Pokemon? That looks like trash or garbage. This is my last Pokemon, seriously? Alina's gotta finish this. But don't tell me about the Dynamax trash. Don't tell me Garbodor has a uh, has his own custom form too for Dynamaxing. I think I'll treat you as something truly spectacular. A Gigantamax at Rose Tower. Oh, she looks like she's struggling to throw that one. Okay, yeah, he kind of does have his own custom form. He has, like, all these toys. I don't know, did he already have toys, like, in there? I don't know. I don't know, that wasn't good. Here's a move I was good with even before I changed my image. I like how confident she stays there, like I'm not like kicking her butt. That's why I forgot that its speed was raised dramatically, or sharply, as they put it. I was expecting to outspeed on that, but that weak armor was actually pretty good to use if you wanted to get an extra hit in. Actually, no, it might be between Corviknight or Colossal. Colossal on who I switch out with Dreepy. Huh, I wasn't able to win. Olena, you really are a hopeless woman. I mean, you said it, not me. Ah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There's nothing to be done now. Typical Blades, you and Cole also are unstoppable. As long as you know, bro, we out here. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and you still fail to understand what's at stake. You, who's supposed to be our champion. I think I understood Wendell left. Ugh. Well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness. It's to carry out the championship match. That's what Gather wants and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Gather region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a million f or a millennium from now. The people of the Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. So this dude's all about clean energy in a sense. In a thousand years. Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman, and I give my word I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee, you never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those Team Yellow oddballs, they all helped us out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop. 
blades. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together. Yeah, it's on me. So you can order whatever you fancy. I'm like, eh, I don't know about that one. I kind of want to battle Chairman Rose. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no. I am going to change the course of history. Okay. The next evening. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? Your team are the ones battling, but I've had butter free in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Blades, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Intellion, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm like, like those other league staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Alina can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for... Well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we can trust her then. Yeah, Blades, let's go. I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to Wyndham Stadium? Then let's be on our way. Make sure my team is healed up too. You know, I'm thinking that Leon's going to have um, that that Dragon Ghost Pokemon on his team. I wouldn't put it behind him to not have it on his team, you know. Oh, didn't even see Hop there. Blades. This is it. Here at the Wyndham Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're going to show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. So go get yourself checked in. I mean, okay. Oh, everybody's... Oh, man, I'm famous. <laughs> Challenger Blaze, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room now? Wait, so we re-challenge them at a later date? I'm thinking maybe that's why they said um, in the beginning that there was like 18 gym challenges? Or gym bat? I don't know, like, everybody's out here though. I'd say I aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Month reclaim their pride and to see him smile once again. Long time no see, this will be a different sort of battle than you faced in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this is a serious battle. I'm going to win my way through every round, then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll have failed to repay Duraludon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. My first match is against Raihan, of all people. What rotten luck. But even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easily. I'll bring him, bring him my matches to an end in a heartbeat, you'll see. No one who sees them will ever forget me. I'll always press on and challenge myself to that. I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself for brilliance will never fade. It's a curious feeling. My heart is racing a bit, but I can't wait for the match to begin. I didn't see Opal or Bead in here, so I'm just going to assume that that's who my first match is going to be against. Will you be heading on to the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. We out here.
It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galar, I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me stepping in on his behalf. In order to lead you all to greater heights, the Pokemon trainers of the Galar region, the time has come for you to battle out until the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the final matches begin. I don't know why they, like, sped through that. I was trying to read it all well enough. Wait, you? <laughs> Yo, why are you dressed like that? Who's that? Yep, it's my boy, Bede. A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Bede, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bede? He's the challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with Challenger Blades here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events. Former Challenger Bead has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with Challenger Bead. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Alina who asked me to gather the wishing stars with the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day? And here I am pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bede's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Blades? My will hasn't been broken yet. Alright, it was a good switch for me to put Grimmsnarl out there then. You are challenged by Gym Leader Bead. Yeah, because now he's a Gym Leader. Dang, now I feel like I should have kept Colossal out there. We've faced too much to quit now, we've got no choice but to win. You're actually about to be super effective against me. So now it's like I'm gonna have to do like a pretty sketchy swap out right now. At least we got rid of that super effectiveness from a steel type move. But hopefully it doesn't just make me flinch all the way down. Oh. Oh, we also, I think, have their attack with burns too. Is that enough to have me outspeed the Mawile though? Yep. God of War? Uh, I don't know, this is sketchy right here with this swap out. I should have sent out Corviknight just to give Corviknight some type of sh time to shine out there. Because Gardevoir also knows Psychic type. And I'm not sure if Gardevoir is going to outspeed us or not. Okay, perfect. We're gonna keep the current Pokemon out there, but now we get to see the Galarian Rapidash. Yep, definitely my little pony. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, 
Okay, but at least we took it out. I'm glad I wasn't like at the same level as that or so it would have took me out. <laughs> I still think I can outspeed this Pokemon. Huh. What's with that calm expression? Think you're going to win? Wow, they gave that Pokemon some curves. Can I outspeed? Oh, dang, I totally forgot to G <laughs> Gigantamax. Okay, yeah, you're about to take out my boy but I think that's fine because I can always uh, check out to max my grim snarl oh it kind of has a no it doesn't have a custom form. oh no we do outspeed it wow okay it was worth Letting it get that move in just to see that attack. That was actually pretty nice. Our turn. Wait a minute. Why doesn't mine have that custom form? I could win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Well, I lost. Looks like the Challenger Bead was no match for Challenger Blades and his trusted team. Hey Bead, that was some match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. <laughs> you just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with the voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Blaze, please head back to your locker room so that you can rest up from that unexpected match. Don't mind if I do. Rather surprising for Challenger B to just barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head onto the pitch. The finals are about to begin. Uh, I don't even know who I want to start off with, but guys, I'm going to end this episode off right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we're going to start the finals and head out there. But with that said, leave a like for the video. Helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. Helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.